Hi everyone and welcome back. This is Paul from TechLink and on the new iOS 15, Apple has introduced a lot of great features in the Photos app that I want to talk to you about. The memory section has seen a huge update. Also, we now have a feature called Live Text that can recognize text in a photo you've taken and allows you to perform several actions with it and the spotlight search is more powerful than ever so make sure to watch through the whole video to find out everything you need to know about every major update of the photos app on the new ios 15. now the first feature that i want to talk to you about is the exif metadata or exchangeable image file format this allows you to see basic information that is generated whenever you take a photo so if you tap on a picture, you're going to see there is a new info button below the image. And if you tap on it or simply swipe up, you're going to see there's a new information panel which will provide you all this EXIF metadata. So you can see the file format, the camera it was taken on, the lens type and the shutter speed used, and also the resolution, the size or the location where it was taken. However, this only works for pictures taken with your own camera. If the image was saved from a third party app, you're going to see where it came from and a slightly different metadata. Another great add-on allows you to change the date and time of when a photo was taken. So let's say you have some pictures saved from third party apps, which will show the date that was saved onto your device. To change that you have to simply open that photo and tap on the info button which will bring up the panel I showed you before and now you will see a new adjust button displayed next to the date and time they were saved. So select that and now you will see a calendar from where you can pick up the date. You can also set the time and if it was taken in a different country you can set the time zone to reflect that. Also on the old photos app you could only see the location where a picture was taken but now if you open the info panel and tap on the location you will notice there is a new edit button which if you select will give you the option to search for a specific place. So just pick the one you want and now if you go back you will see the location has changed. If by mistake you selected the wrong place you can press edit again and you will see an option to revert the location to its original one. When it comes to photos saved from third party apps you will notice that the metadata is incomplete so now you can add the location to those as well following the same steps. Select a picture, bring up the info panel and tap on the add a location button and now you can type in the search bar the place where it was taken, select it and you will see a location has been added to the picture. Moving on to the memory section there are some nice add-ons that I want to talk to you about. On the previous versions of iOS we had the option to add some predefined tracks to these slideshows. Now Apple has decided to take this a step further and they created memory mixes, a feature which can suggest songs based on your Apple Music listening history that may go with the photos and videos in a specific memory. To do that you have to open the photos app on your iPhone and select the for you tab and then you have to pick up a memory that you want to edit from the memory section. So tap on the memory again to bring up the controls and select this new memory mixes icon which looks like a musical note with stars and now you can swipe right and left and the photos app will use machine learning to combine suggested music tracks from Apple Music with different memory looks which is another feature that I will take you through in a few seconds so bear with me. Once you come across a song you like just tap on the screen and the music and look will be applied to your memory. If you can't find the track you like you can tap on this music icon and browse through Apple's music top suggested songs and other categories or if you are looking for a specific song you can use this search function right here. Once you found the track you like press done 
and the song will be applied to your memory. Now, as I mentioned before, there's a new feature called Memory Looks, which consists in several photo and video filters that can add a particular mood to the content of the memories. There's 12 to choose from and each one works by analyzing every individual photo and video and applying the right amount of contrast and color adjustment in order to get a consistent look. To do that, you have to open a memory that you want to edit from the For You tab. Now, tap on the screen again to bring up the controls and pause the memory and select the memory mixes icon from the bottom left corner. You then need to select the memory looks icon, which is like three overlapping circles. So select the one you want and press down to apply your selection. Another change that is worth mentioning in this update to the memory section is the ability to manage which images appear in a memory. So if you feel like a photo doesn't belong there, you can simply remove it. Or if you think some pictures have been left out, you can add them to that specific memory. To do that, you have to select the For You tab in the Photos app and select the memory that you want to manage. You then need to tap on this three dots icon and select Manage Photos from the drop down menu. And now you can simply tick or untick the pictures to manage your selection. Also, if you press Show Selected, you can see them in full screen rather than those small thumbnails. And again, you can select or deselect the ones that you want to leave out of the memory. Now, if you managed to get till this point of the video, I would like to take a second to thank you for your patience and thank you for watching. Also, I would kindly ask you to press that like button so I know you are here. So moving on, I want to take you through my favorite photos feature on the new iOS 15. Apple has introduced what they call live text, which is a feature that can recognize text within the photos you've taken and also allows you to perform several actions with it. So for example, if you want to copy and paste text from a picture, you have to simply launch the Photos app on your iPhone or iPad and find a photo that has some text in it. And you're going to see there is a new text finder icon, which if you press is going to highlight all the text within the photo. In order to copy some of it, you have to press and hold on a word and then drag the ends of the selection tool to highlight all the text that you need. Once you are done, take your finger off the screen and select copy from the pop-up menu. And finally, open whichever app that supports text input. Press and hold your finger and select paste from the pop-up menu. Also, live text features an optical character recognition, which means that if you have a picture of a handwritten text, you can still copy it and paste it as a digital text. But even better, let's say you took a picture with some text in from a foreign language that you would like to translate. Now you can do that as well by following pretty much the same steps like before. So open a photo from your library that contains text in a language that you want to translate like this one right here. Now tap and hold and use the selection tool to capture the text that you want to translate and select translate from the pop-up menu. If it doesn't detect the language automatically, tap on change language option and pick the original one from the list. Iscriviti al mio canale. Iscriviti al mio canale. The next feature introduced by Apple in the iOS 15 is called Visual Lookup, which can recognize the content of your pictures. We did have something similar on the previous versions of iOS where you could search in your photo library for an object like, let's say, cars, and it would bring up a whole lot of pictures containing cars in them. But now, thanks to machine learning, the photo app can identify landmarks, animals, plants and other various objects and provide you information about them, information that they gather from the web. So for example, if I open this picture of a kitten, you're going to see that the info button now has a little star over it, 
which means there is a visual lookup which we can examine and if I press it another icon shows up in the picture telling us that they identified an animal and if I tap on this icon the lookup search results will come up with all kind of info about that particular object that they identified so they're telling me this is either a Bombay or a Burmese cat that and they show me similar images from around the web this feature however is not always that precise so they could see a donkey being identified as a dog or the other way around also at the moment it is limited for the US so if you want to make use of it you would have to change your time zone like I did now if you are a long term iPhone user you might be familiar with the people album which tries to identify faces in your photos so you can label people with their proper names and use that label as an organizing element in your library however the face recognition isn't always totally accurate and it might happen that someone's face gets mixed up and matched with a different person so Apple has introduced an option that allows you to correct naming mistakes that may occasionally happen to do that you have to open the photos app on your iPhone and select albums scroll down to people and places and tap on it select a person and tap on this three dots icon at the top right corner of the screen and now you're going to see there's a new manage tagged photos button which if you press will allow you to check or uncheck any photos that have been misidentified as that person also if you want to add any untagged photos of that person tap tag more photos at the bottom and confirm the identity of the person in the photo and when you finish press done to save your changes still related to the person recognition you now have the option to feature a person less or remove it from some of the sections of the photos app or the home screen widget and there's two places where you can do that the first would be in the featured photos on the for you tab so if you long press on an image containing a person in it you're going to see a new button that says feature this person less if it's a group photo you're going to get an additional menu which allows you to choose who you want to see less of the second place where you can do that is in the albums tab so if you have someone that is showing up in a lot of your pictures you can go to people and places and select that person in question you then need to tap on this three dots icon in the top right corner of the first image and select feature that person less you will need to confirm your selection again and the settings will be saved for future usage last but not least i want to talk about the spotlight search which has been improved and has integrated the photos app as well so now for example you can swipe down on your home screen to bring up the spotlight search type in photos and start searching pictures by specifying locations people scenes or things in your photos like plants or pets also if you type in something in the spotlight search you're going to see that alongside results from the web and Siri knowledge some photos might appear as suggestions too and these are all the new iOS 15 photos app features that I found most interesting there are a lot more tiny changes here and there which I don't retain that important in my opinion Apple has made a big step forward by introducing them and I really like the new live text feature but what do you think of them let me know in the comments down below also if you are interested in more tutorials covering the new iOS 15 make sure to subscribe to the channel and you might want to check the next video that will come up on the screen and like always thank you for watching and i'll see you next time